This is my, this is my favorite character. <laughs> I love this boy. Michelangelo, what are you doing? Shh, I'm reading comics. This is my, this is my favorite character. Oh, what, what happened? I had a character here, he's not here. What, what, what do you mean you had a character there? There was a character here, he was not... Do you have a magic necklace? I don't have a ne magic necklace. Ah, it's a magic necklace. It's, it's the same one I've had for like the past year now. Oh. Whatever Michelangelo's doing. So, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and talk about um, the episode uh, Bat in the Belfry. And if you guys, uh, if you guys uh, weren't aware from all the references that they had, um, it's actually based off of the old 19, um, the 1960s Adam West uh, Batman, which was 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 actually a nice real treat. Just as that was the Batman um, show that I grew up with and everything, and all those references were actually pretty cool. Not only were the references of that, I will, I was chuckling a lot, like at the at the part where the turtles are actually reading their comics and they're they're saying which one's their favorite and they had they had some some things like the fantastic four, uh, four food groups um they had one that um looked like the, the cover from from old Todd McFarlane Spider-Man and even um even the one that, um for like the incredible hulk and everything Jason? Yes, Michael Angelo. I'm a Turflytel. You're Turflytel? Yes. And this is your mask. And that's my mask? Yes, and you're my sidekick. I'm your sidekick? Yes. Y you know, like, I'm like... I know, you're so excited about that. I I'm, I'm so excited about... I'm like, much taller and bigger than you. How can you say no to a cute ninja Teflon head? Wear your mask. Alright, I'll wear my mask. Alright. Like... So, so Michelangelo, um, it, is this like my wife's like Halloween mask? Ding! Confirm! You're a sidekick now! Uh, 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 I'm a sidekick? Yes, let me go and bring your cake. Oh, oh gosh. So, ba the basic premise of this episode, um, well, while Michelangelo's, uh, reading his comic about, uh, For Wing and Screw Loose, which are direct parodies of um, the Adam West Batman and the uh, Burt Ward uh, Robin. Um, they come to life from April's uh, Aeon Crystal, and not only do we get like uh, our our 2012 versions of uh, Wingnut and Screwloose for the series, we also we get more development of April and her Aeon Crystal, and how it's kind of like taking over her and everything. Michelangelo comes in and jokes around like it's it's her precious. Uh, precious. You're addicted to that thing, April. Oh, oh, and everything, and we just see that like April just gets really attached to it and just mad, like whatever she's. Uh, <laughs> apart from it. <laughs> Mikey, wear your mask, cape. You want me to? <laughs> Mikey. I'll, I'll wear the cape. Ding ding. Yeah, you look like a real uh, sidekick. I look like a real sidekick. Yes. Review. But don't forget before every sentence say holy. Holy? Yes. You, you want me to start every sentence with holy? Yes, you should. Uh, and I sing for you to put in the background. Do 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 my key. Oh gosh. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. So So as Michael just pointed out, like, you know, we have the basic the all all the things that you would expect from uh references from like the the nineteen sixties Batman show. Um Screw loose is saying holy in all of his sentences. Holy rip off, wing nut! Yes, I know, old chum. But we have more important matters at hand. Matters of justice. Uh, we even have the sound effects, old chum, all all the fu all, all the fun stuff. Uh, yes, all the fun stuff, like punching, like kicking, all the fun stuff, like jumping, all of these things. Okay. Yes. All the fun, all the fun things from from over there. It's a it's a big departure from what Gwyneth and Screwloose were uh, from the comics, the toys, 
uh, e- and even the the original uh, cartoon series, uh, they're just they're uh, instead they're more like Batman and Robin than uh, than the wing lightning screw loose that that we're used to um, and everything. Mikey. And <clears throat> and there comes to a point where where Michelangelo. Um, you know, since he's all, he loves superheroes and everything, since this was his, uh, his favorite comic, he goes ahead and wears his, uh, Turflidal, uh, costume as he's wearing here. Which is not exactly what Turflidal looks like, but I guess Michelangelo had to do with what he could get. You see, even these things move when I'm happy. You see? I, I, I see. They, they move when you're happy? Yes. Does that mean you're all the time happy? Yes. Uh, of course. <laughs> So some other like Batman references, um, the title itself, uh, Bat in the Belfry, um, like like it's something that you would expect from like a Batman uh, TV show, or Batman comic. Also, the voice of Wingnut. Alas, I think I found some. Is actually unfortunately it's not Adam West, which would have been really awesome if it was Adam West himself. But instead, it's actually it's actually a a voice actor who's done Batman, um, in it from like the DC, um, in, from like the the DC superhero uh, line. Um, so it's not really like like when you hear it, it's not really the Batman you're hoping for, but it's still like cool that they at least got someone who actually voiced Batman uh, before and everything. Um, so we punch you in the middle of your talking. You're gonna punch me. <laughs> Oof, oof. I just like the sound effects and graphic stuff is caught in the screen. I'm glad you like the sound effects and graphics that's coming out on the screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, not, not only that, like like I said, um, we got just a lot more development with April um, herself and everything. And like we see like the turtles are more now more aware of like her dependency on the Aeon Crystal as... They just weren't, as before, like, they just weren't, um, sure about it, but now, like, they, they see that, like, you know, that she depends on it, and, like, you know, when... I don't want to relax! I want my crystal! Michelangelo uses up all the power to, to make, um, everyone from the comic books, uh, c- come to life, and she gets, she gets really mad that not only was it missing, but then it was also, um, it wasn't working anymore. The, the characters, first they were so uh, friendly, but later they get very mean. Yeah, yeah. So basically, like, uh, Wingnut and Screwloose, uh, they become enemies, and this is just so we can have the conflict between the Turtles and them, just so we can get that ultimate conclusion on how how the energy, um, how the Aeon Crystal energy goes back into the crystal uh, and everything. <sighs> You, you have to, you have to crystal. No, That's th- what all of my characters are missing. No, 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 this is just, this is just uh, a necklace. You no, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's one of those magic crystals. Like, another really good aspect I actually really like about this episode is that, um, even though we don't have, um, even though it's not a Dantel focused episode, but, like, he actually doesn't get... He doesn't actually get injured or captured in this episode, and it was actually really nice since, uh, uh, since, like, you know, we've seen that a lot with him in this season, and even, and, uh... I want to ask, I want to ask Donatello to be a Terfly tail with me, to yeah. have the uh, purple wings and fly together. You're gonna have Donatello also have, uh, be a Terfly tail too? Yes, Terfly tail. Oh, gosh. And, um... Over, overall, overall, this episode we don't we don't have um, we actually don't get into a uh, cry or shredder and any new developments on that, but we get actually more developments into April and her dependency on the Aeon Crystal, and now we see that the turtles they are now aware of um, what um, her dependency on the actual uh, crystal um, was. Uh, what do you like about the episode, Michelangelo? See my antenna is moving. It means that. Some aliens are around here. Let me <laughs> let me punch you. I just love those effects. Boom, boom, boom. You, you like um, those effects? Yes. Oh, being my being my comic, I want to take the all characters. 
The, all, look, look, look. All the characters are there, all right? Uh, I love this one. Uh-huh. See? All the characters are there. Page more. Oh, this, this is missing. I go to find it. It's not do missing. Do 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 do. No, it's just a blank page. Sing. Do 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 do, Mikey. You have to run after me. Do 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 do, do Mikey. Just uh, down in the comments below, let us know uh, what you guys uh, think about this episode and what you guys think about uh, Wingnut and Screwloose um, in this series. And oh, uh, come here, Sharky! My key. And I'm gonna go and. My key. All right. Come on. All right. Until next time, guys. See ya. I love this bridge. <laughs> I love the Ninja Turtle comic show. Read the my Angelo. Read the my Angelo. Jeez, your necklace. I have to go find it. Like and subscribe. If you want to watch more videos, please click here. If you want to be my Saki, send your resume in the comment below. Subscribe. Did it, 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 did it